So I'm going to continue on with this uh, pursuit of the chiropractors. Uh, my book, like I said, was designed around just that. One of the things that I started to see is that you can start the healing process with another person with the most abused invention of man, language. Right? If you, you've got to get what a patient is trying to tell you, and as George Goodhart says, if you listen to people, they will tell you what to do. But you also don't have to put up with their shit. Excuse the vernacular, excuse my language, but we're taught to dwell with problems so deeply as doctors. And in chiropractors, a lot of us don't want to do that. We want to look at a patient, we want to work with a patient to gather their wellness, but people don't go to doctors when they're well, they come to us when they're not well. My book is designed to follow up with a sign that I think you should put up in your office. When you come to my classes, I will suggest that you put a sign in your office. The number one rule of this office is doctor, and then however you're called, whatever your name is, has fun. And when a patient gets off on one of their jags, you know, me, 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 and me, 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 my husband, and me, 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 and they get on all their stuff, all you have to do is point to the sign and say, excuse me, excuse me, this is not fun for me. You know, if you don't want to come in this office, that's fine. But if you do want to come in this office, you have to make sure that I'm having fun. And when I have fun is when I'm working on you and we're working together and co-creating an experience that will enhance your vitality. That's not doing it for me. Therefore, it's not doing it for you. So take that, take it to somebody else that will put up with it, and leave it outside. Don't bring it into my clinic. Right? That sort of discipline is not only allowed, it's deeply encouraged by me. Because I think if you have fun in your practice, which most of us, like I fell into chiropractic, okay? I had been to a chiropractor once or twice, and actually an osteopath had helped my headaches, right? But I'd never been to one, and when I got out, I really didn't know how to practice. I met a great chiropractor, John Bandy, who showed me the basics of a kinesiological practice, and I followed that for years. And then I met Martin Sage, who showed me that I could have fun in practice. Now, I always had fun. Right? I enjoyed my patients. I would make them laugh, even at the cost of a few minutes of clinic time. You know, it, uh, Betty, I forget her name, used to come in, and she was getting debilitated from what was diagnosed as MS, which is kind of a scatterall for, gee, we don't know what's going on with you, but we're going to name it. And she was on a walker, and she would be walking from the waiting room to one of my rooms, and click, step, step, click, step, step. And I would be moving from one room to the next, and I would say to her, Betty, can you please hurry up? Can't you see how busy I am today? And I could count on the fact that she would get laughing in her walker and be unable to move for about a minute or two. But that was worth it to me because it was fun for me and it made her laugh. Clinic practice is however you want to do it. In my weekend, what I show you is how to respond, not to react. When Betty came in and was wasting my time, I had the capacity to stop and say, Hey, wait a minute. Let's have fun with Betty. Now, the patients, after my class with Martin Say, the patients that I didn't want there, who didn't seem to gel with me, who didn't like me, and I didn't like them, I would just simply say, look, it's time for you to go find another chiropractor. When you have discipline in your practice, you can have fun in your practice. When you have fun in your practice, it vitalizes you, enhances your health and your patient's health. Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com. Ciao.